so it's early it's early today and uh we're getting we're getting ready to to go soon on our trip and this this is definitely one of the cameras i'm bringing with me and you guys have probably been watching some of the videos that i put out in the last week and maybe you didn't even realize how much of it was actually shot with this guy uh actually a fair bit so um Today, because I've been testing it and working with it completely, completely the the One RS completely naked, right? It just the camera in its case. That's it. So no, no extra bells and whistles. So today, though, I wanted to show you guys these because I'm going to connect these so that uh, the one downside, and it's not a huge downside. It actually was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, of course, is you know being able to. Um, add an external mic because you want better than the internal mic. So we're going to look at these two, which is the accessory shoe and the mic adapter. Yeah. So this could be a really cool little vlogging kit, you guys, right? You see, there's the there's the the one the one RS, which is what I've been kind of shooting with the last last little while, and I just have it on a little. Uh, this is this is actually a little handle that I use with my uh, Sony ZV-1 on occasion because it's got the little controls on it, which I which I kind of like. So, be cool if this all worked with that, but it's still a cool handle. And when I travel, a lot of times I bring my ZV-1 with me too, so it's a nice little little combo deal. Anyways, um, let's take a look at these these fellas here, right? So number one is the accessory shoe because that that is important because if you want to be able to put a little shotgun mic on there you know I have to say they've got their their boxes in here good I keep, I keep having to tear them to get them out uh, but if you want an external mic which I do there's there's no place to put it and on the original you uh, original R uh, you had to buy a different a different uh, case there was cases that came with the mounting shoe included so this is nice because if you're a person that needs it, you can just just kind of go get get one. Fairly big box for what it is, and I, and I don't know if it you even need to open it because it just pops out the top, and there's there's nothing there's nothing there's nothing in there's nothing else in here. It's empty. So th that's it. That's it right there. And my guess is it's just your standard little, you know, this this goes on here somehow. I don't know if there's a front and a back. I'm guessing that the the big the big the big guys go in the big one, like, like, oh no, oh no, don't lose that, don't lose that. My guess is that, that's cool, and then there's a little, there's, you guys can maybe see it here, where am I here? There's a little button right there, and you just kind of push it, I think, you push it, you push it down, you push it, you pull it up, you do something, you pull it up to get it off, you pull it, you push it down, you pull it back, you... It feels like you push it in, maybe. You push it in. Yeah, okay. So this, this, you guys, where am I here? This, this here is a little button that just moves those, the little prongs. So basically, small, big, small, big. Put the small in, clap. Hot shoe ready. Hot shoe ready. Hot shoe ready. And then, then the important part, right? Because, well, I guess that's still important because maybe you just need light. So you want to be able to put light up there because now you could mount on a light. It's all coming together. I have lights. I actually have a light that has a tripod shoe, not a tripod, a cold shoe on it. So then you could just like double stack, right? Which is kind of nice. And then this is your Insta360 1S mic adapter. Yeah, so depending, it doesn't really matter if you're if you're rocking, you know, like a wireless like lav mic, or if you're the person like me who's running a little shotgun. Now I'm gonna put a little shotgun mic on here. It's tiny, just a little little guy because uh, the biggest thing for me, again, I'm at, why do I have such issues opening boxes? It's got all these. You see this? It's got all these little little prongs, and you're like, which well, which way does it open? And then, you know, you're, uh, you, I guess it does open with that one. What's this one for? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, it's open. There you go. Uh, it's a 361 RS mic adapter. Horizontal version. Okay. Not really sure what that means. 
Does it have any kind of, this is how you use it. So you do have to uh, remove the door. Okay, I'm with you so far. And uh, plug it in. So on this side, and now my hope is, this is my hope. My hope is, is that, you know, because you have to, I believe you have to completely remove the door, which is fine. My issue with having to remove the door is that I, I have a tendency to misplace this piece. So this, this little door thing, um, it's just kind of on there with a weird little pull tabby thing. So you just kind of pull it out and that can go back in, which is fine, right? But that comes out, I'm guessing. And then, and then this, this is it. This is it right here, you know? This, the other one was, the other one that came with the R uh, was definitely smaller, but a lot of people complained about it. I, I had no issues with it. I, it worked, it worked fine. It did what I needed it to do. My hope is this will actually, you know, like fill, like seal the door maybe so that it kind of clamps in. So this, yes, yeah, so that's got a nice seal on it, right? So that's not coming anywhere. Okay, that's better. Yeah, for sure. Cause it, it clicks in there. So you guys, you guys see that? And when you pull it out, right? You, you get it, you, you get it, where am I? You get it there. And, and again, you just kind of line it up with the USB-C and it's a nice little click. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get my, my mic. One sec. Now, I have a couple options that I was going to go with. I'm not really sure which one I want to choose. This guy, I think, this is this is like, this is a little furry muff thing, right? And this, this mic, I think, I think these two go together. I'm not 1000%. I think they go together. So if I take that off and pop that in there, right? And just kind of spin that on. Right, you get a nice little furry, furry, you get, you get a furry muff. Yep, now I don't know, because of how wide this can shoot, right, if, let me just see it, if the, if the muff, yeah, gets in the shot. So I'm just gonna turn it on, you guys will see. Uh, it's there a little, it's there a little bit in the top. It's there a little bit in the top, for sure. So, um, be aware of that. Uh, if, if you're able to crop that out, that's okay. But it's definitely, you guys see it? It's just kind of, it's just it's just creeping in there, creeping in there a little bit. So, um, and it may be, I don't know if it's, you could trim it. You could trim your muff. Everybody likes a nice trim muff, I think. I think so. You know, just kind of pet your muff. Whatever. But that, does that help at all? Yeah, helps a little bit, but it's it's still it's still getting in the shot. So you may want to use that. You may you may not. You may not. I'm still dropping stuff here. So option number one, I, and I'll give it a try just to see. Okay, because if it's windy out, I, I use that. I may just just you know center myself lower just to make sure I I don't get this in the shot as much. My other option that I have is this guy because this guy's lovely. It's like a record front and back depending on what you want and you can tell it right if you want to have both mics going or just just the front mic so that may be that may be a good option and that one of course that one goes in there but you definitely don't want to be using uh any kind of mic that's large this one i would think not an issue so that's that's fitting in there and that 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 looks the part you know, it looks like it, it came, it, it was designed, it was designed for this camera. That's what it's like. That's kind of nice. And last but not least, depending, is let's say you didn't, you didn't want any of these. And, and this may be a good option. This is the little ceramonic, which I like, it has a little wind muff on it. And this, also really cool, because you could just take this and just go straight in there. And uh, then, you, then you got the same deal, right? It actually came up when I plugged it. Left volume bar shows the real-time input volume of the external microphone. All right, next. Tap the volume bar to adjust the input volume of the external microphone. Finish. Tap the volume bar. Finish. Oh, so it does, you actually can see it. It's moving up and down there. 
So you can play with it if you want. But that may be a, actually, 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 I think that may be my option. I think that's what I'm going to use right there. Because the nice thing is, is you can tell. A lot of times you're like, I hope it's in there. You can tell it's in there. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to use that one because I'm pleased with that. And it's small. It doesn't make this thing even bigger. And and you get the uh, the wind muff protection. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go head out for the day. And uh, not a lot happening, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this camera with me. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we we are rocking with the external mic. Yeah. Because we have to test it, right? We have to test it before we go. And I have to make sure to take these keys because I'm going to Mary's uh, mom and dad's place because we have a Amazon thing being delivered. And because we live like 45 minutes outside of the city, if we get something from Amazon, it takes like a week to get here. And sometimes longer, honestly. Sometimes like, I don't know. I've seen it take, I need a mask. I've seen it take like over two weeks to get here. And then if we get it delivered to Mary's mom and dad's place, it's like, yeah, it'll be there in two days. So uh, we got an air, did I tell you this? We got an air purifier, air purifier. And uh, my backpack's not really hanging on right. But we got an air purifier for the house. So I want to go get it. I want to go get it. So going into town plus, plus, uh, my laptop's been, has a sticky key, sticky key, so, and that might have been pointing up to the sky, sticky key, so I have a, I have a Genius Bar appointment with Apple, so, I'm doing that first, so, that's what, that's the, that's the plan. Alright, so, I'm back in the car, I went and saw Apple, and like I said, my delete key, is, feels just a little spongy, just a little spongy, so, I thought, it could have been, like, some dirt or something got in there. So they they took it in the back. They were like, "Oh, yeah, that's what it feels like." We'll replace the key because uh, I take I take care of my MacBook, and I don't honestly I don't even use it too much. I use my iMac more more often. Uh, and, and some days I just I don't understand, you know. Especially I never understood this when I worked there because I did I worked at Apple, and I just I don't you know that's how I think I think that's the biggest drawback for some of them. Uh, well, people that are pondering possibly going to Apple, uh, they were like, yeah, we're going to have to replace the top case of your MacBook. I'm like, okay. Yeah, between eight and $900. Eight and $900. Because my delete key is spongy. What? So I'm going to see if I can find one online somewhere and see if somebody might be able to try to fix that for me. That's not someone that overcharges like Apple does. Yeah crazy all right i'm uh i'm off i'm off to mary's mom and dad's house to wait for an amazon package yeah oh, sometimes this is a pain in the ass pain in the ass but i got something to snack on and people are giving me a weird look it's okay and I got keys to the house, I think. That's kind of important. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In we go. In we go. There we go. Now we're going. It's windy out. This is a good test for this little microphone with the wind muff, I think, because it's windy enough that it would, you'd be able to tell. So, we get to go listen now. Yep. And see if my package is here. Now I have to uh, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat, I think, and then uh, set my computer up and do some editing while I wait. Yeah. So kind kind of a good like almost like a low light test for you guys. I've got hash brown and I got a egg McMuffin. 
And I have to say, I used the little, the little, you know, the do-it-yourself screen for, for serving yourself. I, I have to say, I do like the fact that they put like the calories and stuff on there because this way I could go through and be like, because I was all, I was all like, oh, I'll get, I'll get the two burrito meal because it's burritos. It's got to be, it's just eggs and some meat and, and a tortilla. How, how much calories can that be? 600 calories. Egg McMuffin, I think it was like 280. So that that that's what I went with. The the lesser of the two. The lesser of the two. Because I just thought that would be that would be better. So the hash brown. I swear they put I'm gonna crack or something in here. It's so tasty. It's so tasty. It's just crumbs coming everywhere. And normally, normally I get a sausage McMuffin because I like I like the McDonald's sausage. But you go to the sausage McMuffin, you jump again like a hundred calories. So I think this has just got like the ham or whatever on it. So that'll be fine. And a black coffee. Just black coffee. So one thing I do find, one thing I do find with McDonald's. Um yeah, that's okay. See, it's just a little piece of ham. So it's, but see, it's tiny. It's barely there. Um their coffee is always like ridiculously hot. <clears throat> so hot. I got it I got the cover off and I'm just like Hoping that it can cool down sometime today. Not a bad choice, but I have a feeling that if the package doesn't show up for like a while, I'm gonna be hungry again. That that'll be bad. Well, okay, now now I'm at it again. All right, so I'm back home, back home, played with some of the footage, super cool, I like it, actually, for as, as well as an action cam, even in, like, the light was not great by any means over at uh, my wife's parents' place, so I think I think it did okay, and uh, the one thing, I just, I just wanted to end this video, if you're vlogging with this kind of setup, um, it, it, you definitely do have to, if, you're, if you have like a little muff on there, a little wind muff, it doesn't really matter because the, the, the camera does shoot really wide. So, um, you know, getting it probably up on the top is probably the best place for it if you can. Uh, if you're not using a wind muff, probably even better because even when I had it on the side, it, it does creep in a tad bit. I had to like punch in a little bit more just to, to get it there um, or get it out of the shot. But I want to just show you this real quick. I'm just going to turn this on. And uh, I'll stick I'll stick this back in here just so you guys can. So yeah, got it. All right, I think I'm I'm back now. So you see here, you see there, there's a little little tiny like a like a level that goes up and down. So if you try it and you realize that you're a person that's there, and it, it's really to be honest, like dependent on your microphone, right? If you have a really good microphone that picks up the zero dB should be fine. But if you tap on the little bar, you actually see a little menu pop up. You guys can see that there, a little menu, right? So that you can actually say zero dB, three dB, six dB, and you can go down to minus six dB. So there is no minus three, but there is a minus six. So if your mic's picking up like super good. Uh, this mic here, I realized uh, actually after I, I got home, um, that I should have pushed it up to about plus six because I had to take all the audio inside the editor and raise it about plus six plus ten. So if I can get this up here plus six, then it should be good. But I would test it. I would test it yourself. If you're using a new mic or you're using, you know, you're going to go out and be shooting for a day or a week or whatever, you're going on holidays, do a little run around the house, kind of get yourself outside, inside, see how your mic sounds, do a test at zero, do a test at three, do a test at six, see which one sounds best before it starts peaking or things like that. And then uh, just kind of set it there. Set it, set it and forget it, you know, turn that back off. Um, yeah, it's, it's vlog friendly 
for sure. I I'm, I really do like the like the colors out of it are really good. It does decently decent for an action cam in low light. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's a it's a great little little deal. Uh, affiliate links down below if you guys are interested at all. Uh, I am going to be bringing this. This I don't even know what day I'm posting this, but uh, when you guys are seeing this, I'm either really close to going on vacation or uh, I've I've started already. I think I'm gonna post this on the Wednesday, which means just a day before vacation. So that's that's going in the bag. All right, guys. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell, and I will see you later. I've got a whole bunch of videos uh, pre-recorded. They'll be coming out over the next few days while I'm while I'm while I'm on vacation. Later. <laughs>